Hello. Today we're here to talk about Radeon RAM Disk. We're going to cover installation and setup. Okay, so now we're just going to go launch our web browser and we're going to go to www.radeonramdisk.com and we are going to go ahead and click on the download link and we're going to go and download any one of these three links will get you to the same place. You'll be asked to um, submit a small very short survey. We're going to go ahead and skip that just to have a quick access to the download. And we've already downloaded it here, and now it's going to do the security scan. And we should be ready. And there it is. And just click Next, Accept License Agreement, and install to the default directory. And we are off to the races. So standard security warning, and we're going to accept that. And we have successfully installed the software. So now we're going to minimize or remove all the rest of these windows, and we're going to go ahead and go to our RAM disk configuration utility. And that launches this splash screen. And here is the GUI that we get when we first launch RamDisk. It's very basic, so we have settings, load and save, the event log, and some options. All we're going to worry about for this video is the settings tab. So um, you'll see that it defaults down to a very small size disk. Uh, we're going to create a FAT32 partition, and we're just going to create basically a 4 gig RAM disk. Now you can see we can create a much larger one here. That's because I've got the registered version. If you had an unregistered version, you would have a, a limit at 4 gigs no matter which one of these things you selected here. So with that said, we're going to leave all the default settings and just press start. Now it's going to give us a progress bar and say we're starting the RAM disk. And it says verifying driver start, which was successful. And of course, we see immediately the system has detected the new disk has been created. It's assigned it a drive letter, and we're good to go. Now we can actually open up the drive and see that it is empty. And you can see that now I have, in addition to my local disk and my RAID array and my SSD, I've got a local disk F, which is the RAM disk. So as easy as that, we've downloaded the software, installed it, and started it, and have a usable disk in our system. Please check out the next video in our series, which covers the advanced system settings. Thank you.